We are looking for the most popular presenters of the decades. Lee Lindforsch was chosen by you as most popular presenter of the 80s, while Terry Wogan and Ulrika Jonsson were voted most popular presenters of the 90s. Time to find out who your favourites were between 2000 and 2009. The vote for most popular presenters of the noughties was too close to call. In a neck and neck race, it came down to three different years. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth has arrived. Many of you liked Sakis Ruvas and Maria Menounos from Greece. The Russian duos from both the semi and grand finals. Okay, okay, now country. it's my turn, okay? Yes, yes. In the end, I'm a lady. Absolutely. See the crocodile, Natasha's there! Sorry. So Natasha is on the catwalk. Please support her. Please. Are you kidding me? I don't press buttons on the catwalk. I press buttons outside the catwalk, though. <laughs> sure you do. Oh my god. Where are your buttons, Andre? I will tell you after the show. <laughs> Bosnia Herzegovina! But you voted most for the duo from Finland. Jana Pelkonen and Mikko Leppilampi. Let's have a look at the best moments of the show. the semi-final of the 2007 Eurovision Song Contest starts now! We just saw the first ever Eurovision entry from Georgia. We sure did, and we definitely got the show going. Six down, much more music to come. Tonight is also the first time that the Czech Republic is taking part in the Eurovision Song Contest. As well as Montenegro and Serbia as independent countries. That's right, Nico. I've done my homework. <laughs> okay, that's why we would like to wish all the newcomers an especially warm welcome to the Eurovision Song Contest. Ketilikost kveni mobor zaneva. Vitejte. Dobrodošli. And now back to business. We need a very short countdown. We need only a three, two, one countdown, but this time. We are going to do it in Finnish. So let's practice a little bit. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Kolme. Kaksi. Yksi. Okay? That's perfect. That's perfect. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to do it all together, loud and clear. Are you ready? Kolme. Kaksi. Yksi. Europe. Start voting now. Coming to you live from the very, very sacred green room, or should I call this a steam room? Because this is absolutely amazing in here. The atmosphere is just hot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all the artists here impatiently waiting to hear about the results. Here are the Netherlands. How are you guys doing? Are you comfortable? Are you going through? Oh, yes, 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 yes! Who would you like to thank most at this point, although nothing's clear yet? Finland also, it was beautiful here and we performed in the city, it was great and all the people who will vote, please, please, thank you! Thank you, that's the Netherlands! Over here we have Mr. Svante Stokselius. Mr. Stokselius is the executive supervisor of the Eurovision Song Contest and of the Eurovision Broadcasting Union. He also enjoys long introductions like this. So, how are things Mr. Stokselius? Hyvä ilta, Jana ja Mikko! I have... Ten envelopes. Do you want them? Yes, please. Uh, I don't know. Don't? <laughs> of course we want them! Do I don't know how... Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 28 amazing performances. Only 10 will qualify for Saturday night's final. Inside this big envelope, I have 10 smaller envelopes. Before we do anything else, I just want to mention one thing. What an amazing audience we have here tonight! And it's our devoted fans that make the Eurovision Song Contest such a special 
special event. Thousands of Eurovision fans have arrived in Helsinki from all over the world to celebrate this year's show. And actually talking about Eurovision fans, I think I found at least one of the most devoted Eurovision fans I've ever seen. May I ask your name, young lady? Yes, I'm Chrisse. It's right Beth. here. <laughs> but hi. Okay, uh, was it Christe? Yes. Okay, Christe. Since tonight is all about true fantasy and dreams coming true, uh, can I ask, what is your biggest dream ever? Well, I would love to host this Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. <laughs> You know what, since tonight is all about making your dreams come true and all that, I think we can work something out. For something. You. Let's go, come with us. Come with us, come on. Let's send our greetings to all Eurovision countries with this very special song. One, two, But we spoke like five minutes ago and they told me that Helsinki is beautiful and that I am beautiful and this guy from England needs his mother to call him immediately. Yes, immediately. And here at the Helsinki Arena we are ready to move on with the show. Where are we? Mesdames et Messieurs, vous venez d'entendre le 24 chansons et dans quelques minutes vous allez pouvoir voter par téléphone ou par SMS. Mais il n'est pas possible de voter pour votre pays. Merci Mikko. De Ryan. <laughs> to start the voting, we would like to welcome to the stage a distinguished guest, the world's most famous Finn, a man with many names. Ladies and gentlemen, Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, Papa Noel, or as we say in Finnish, Jolupukki! Hello, hello, hello. All you lovely people here in the audience and behind the screen all over the world. Things are getting very, very exciting here, but before we get down to the real business, I would still like to remind you about the official CD and DVD releases of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. The CD is already available in stores and the DVD will also be released very soon. That's it. And ladies and gentlemen, to present the trophy for the winner of the 2007 Eurovision Song Contest, Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, Papa Noel. I will follow you till the end. Uh, this is for you. Congratulations. 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 Okay. 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 Okay.